I got my little weirdo black nails, but um, it's a vibe. Did you dress up? Did you guys have a party or anything? I I did dress up. What, you, <laughs> what were you? Now I feel shy. Why? I, 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 what you've been knowing me for I, I was Catwoman. Oh, okay. were you? Mm-hmm. Wait, and we ain't gonna look no up pictures, his photos. No video, no nothing. Like what? I did. I did just post a couple videos. Okay, I'm gonna look. And right I now. had a little mask, so I felt a little bolder because I was a little like. Why are you still like, like this? I don't know. You know what? Because I'm a cancer. Okay, I so I just kind. You know how nature. it is. It's like uh-huh. I'll be like bold, and then I'm like, oh my god, and then I feel shy. <laughs> but I just go back and forth. I hear. I you. think it's just. That's just probably how it's your personality, yeah. That's yeah. the water. What do you think triggers it? Like, water. now I'm getting all um, into your 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 spiritual yeah. being. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think I've always been like that. Even when I was a little kid, and I loved performing. Yeah, I would be so nervous, but I was just like, but I want to do it anyway. I'd be like yeah. shaking and giggling, and so stuff. after a and couple. Then, And then afterwards, I would feel really good and I would enjoy it, but it wasn't like because I was comfortable. So you just learned how to get um, used to being uncomfortable. But I think that's, you know, that's the telltale sign of success, right? Yeah. That's when you know you're doing something when you're scared. Yeah. But you can't still be like this. That's what they say. (laughs) No, you know what? It's when I'm doing something new. Okay. That's partly what it is. You know what I mean? Like if I'm doing a new song, yeah. then it's like, then I'll be like. A little nervous about it. Yeah. Until it's vulnerable. It and then it's like, okay, I'm used to this. All right. <laughs> I'm warmed up. But what about this though? Right. You just got to dip your toe in the water. Yes. you like. Yes. Okay. No, it's that's good. It. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, speaking of which. how I am. New album. Yes. And it's out crazy, today, really. So, you know, I'm a real estate agent, a real estate agent now. Really? I was in the office slapping this for people. And I probably shouldn't have done that because it's an early thing I had. But I was slapping some of the songs. I love it. Yeah. And they were like, who's that? I was I like, what do you love mean? love it. Buy this house. <laughs> and this vibe. Right. Sana G, find a home for me. Plug. Uh, but <laughs> no, it's incredible, like girl. Like, I don't Thank know what you. I was expecting because it's been a minute, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, it's in all honesty, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah, a minute. It has been a minute. You took a little hiatus. What I know you've been performing and whatever, I, but as far as having yeah. a full project out, it's been a second. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't put out an album in almost six years, I think. Like 2017, right? That was the last thing. I think so. <laughs> and you know what? But you know what's weird? Because I kept going in the studio. It felt like it was only a couple years. Yeah. yeah. And then it would just, the time was getting longer and the pandemic. And it was like, right. okay, girl, you need to get this together. Yeah, get it You out. are sitting still. Finish this up now. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Are you proud of it? Like, how do you honestly? I am. Feel? Okay. I am proud. I mean, like I said, you know, it is. It's it's always a little bit yeah. scary, but I am proud of it. It's like it's a super honest album. I feel the most grounded mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. You know, grown, and I feel like it's a it's a vibe, and I just wanted to share like. You know, what was going on all through me and it's like all aspects of love and just introspection and just trusting the process, Mm -hmm. you know, and um, trusting that things will fall into place and just even dealing with loss and and everything, you know. Yeah. Do you have a favorite record on the album? I mean, because the name alone, I was like, Colors. I was like, okay. And, you know, not just a simple O-R. You got the O-U. I'm like, oh, we got, got fancy. fancy. We had, to, I'm like, we had so, to do something. So what's, yeah. what, what are we cooking in this gumbo pot? What's your favorite yeah. ingredient? Um, mm, I would say purple's one of my favorites. Purple. And I okay. started doing that one live, and it just, like, feels good yeah you know um and then there's like in colors it's kind of broken down into three color categories so in that purple kind of blue zone mm-hmm. yeah there's also need you and oh hi and those are like probably the most vibey tracks and then um 
you know, time heals that I started with and risk it all. They're all really personal okay. songs, yeah. though. So it just depends on the mood. Yeah, but I mean, people relate, right? right? Yeah. Like, I think they get yeah. your message in every song that you put out. Um, and I congratulate you on that. That's amazing. We're glad you're back. I know you right through Oakland is still here closer, getting slapped in the old yeah. schools out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I always <laughs> love that when I, like, hear it from down right. the street. Like, <laughs> Okay. Um, but what do you think about like Oakland right now? Like, I like your point of view on everything. You know, the music is always a solid thing for you. You express yourself, you're spiritual and that stuff. But when you look Thank back you. at how Oakland used to be like back in yeah. that day and now where we're at, yeah. like, you know, I don't expect you to slander anyone like Mayor yeah. Shane Tao. Uh, but <laughs> but <laughs> that's me saying that, not her. Um, I mean, it's the- just sad right now. Right. Like it's changed so much. Yeah. It has changed, and um, it's like such a mixed bag right now. It is. It's really, it's really bittersweet, and there's like, yeah, there's, it's, it's tough. It is tough. tough because I feel like sometimes it's turned into some of what people thought Oakland was, was that aren't and right. weren't from here and I'm like no it's yeah. so beautiful though right. you gotta come and catch a vibe and it is all that it's mm-hmm. still a vibe but it's just kind of like dang it's some of the other things that people thought too but what I will say is there is some amazing creative people mm-hmm. coming yeah. out of Oakland right now I agree and I've been coming to events that I'm just like where am I this is Dope. Yeah. You know, I just walked through this um, immersive art show that's about to open tomorrow called um, Through Line. And it's like photos that turn to paintings that turn mm. to poetry. And it's mm. this whole amazing space you can walk through. And I got to be part of it. It's like me and like 13, 12 or 13 other um Black women in different fields, but the space just feels like I was impressed. Yeah, I was impressed. And this is like right in downtown Oakland and just like, you know, having friends that open restaurants and stores. So it's like there's pride in that. Exactly. It's just, you know, it's bittersweet. Yeah, I agree. Like the people who have come up in the town are now blossoming yeah. And becoming like what they've always been trying yeah, to be. Yeah, which is dope, right? To Super see our crazy. friends like yeah. thriving and building. Right. Um, but then you've got. Stuff, but it's like. You've got these other young your people. Heart. Yeah. Exactly. No, I mean, it's right, these young right. people, you know, you probably know, you not know. even from Oakland, that are right. like yeah. causing the other part to happen too, yeah. which is hurting the whole situation. Yeah. So. I don't know. I just always appreciate your perspective on things because you always find a way to find something positive. And you're right. I, I mean, I have to because or else I'll just be like, damn, down. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I mean, most of the time, even like when I'm, you know, writing, it's like I'm going through those feelings of valley. frustration yeah. and just like, Ugh. but I just feel like I have to figure out the other side at the same mm-hmm. time or right. else. I can't let it take me down. Right. Period. You know, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, uh, I feel like a lot is going on in the Bay Area, especially, you know, post pandemic. And, you yeah. know, Oakland has, like you said, it's kind of been living up to the stereotype a lot of people have had for it. But, you know, again, we continue to put out the, the, the good music, the good vibes, the yeah. great juju. Shout out to the Warriors uh, doing their thing. Because I, I saw you and Ray right. Slide Raj out of the game the other week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We kicking yes. it up. We kicking the season and off. And they the won again. I was like, right. <laughs> let's, go. let's start it off right. Right, yeah. right. So you know, yeah. we gotta be like you said. We gotta we gotta smile at the beauty that we have here too. Yeah, for sure. Because there is something special right. here, and you can feel it regardless. It's just like some extra pressure and extra challenging times. And I think it's also just like it's hard to afford to live here and the economics are yeah. so True. all over the place that yeah. there's like a desperation kind of in the air. Yeah. You know? No, there is. Yeah. Not to make an excuse, but... Yeah. But true. You yeah. know, because there are jobs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, we're yeah. coming back to life yeah. and yeah. getting a lot yeah. of things. Yeah. yeah, but I think like one of the things that I love 
uh, or have loved about the Bay is how people come together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like people, it's not like that in every city. Even like cross culturally, how people kick it together right. out yeah. here, it's not normal. And when I've gone to other places, I'm like, is this? Do you guys not all get together? It's like very, um, real segregated. In a lot really of segregated yeah. in. Yeah. I mean, even other parts of California, all over. So, mm-hmm. I love that about here, and I feel like there used to be a little more feeling of watching out for each other. So I want for that to come back rather than people feeling like they have to watch their back. Mm. And that's always now it's, it's done. Uh, What's done is done, man. So we need to, that that needs to change. Need no, to it does. That, that needs to change. Yeah, but yeah. people are just cautious. You can't blame them for that. Right. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. When I say sexy red, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. So you gonna laugh? <laughs> Ski <Skiye>. yeah. <laughs> she ain't like got no that. words. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, are you a fan? Do you? To say- be honest with you, okay. I've only even heard that song a few times but i'll tell you what i see what it does when it comes on yeah uh-huh. and i'm like but I, sh- I guess i should get up too <laughs> put your hands on your knees that's what you want to do you know what <laughs> see i wasn't gonna break anything down it's like it's a little bit comedy but you can also i guess drive around and get juice to it i don't know yeah no i mean it's <laughs> for a lot of folks it's my not you sana no i lo- i mean i get it I, I get all of it. Yeah. I just don't want to see any more pregnant rappers on the stage. It's like, it was Krishan Rock, and now it's Sexy Red. It's like, let's fucking stop this trend. Okay? I don't need to see you dropping it like it's hot when you're like six At months pregnant. At the same time, no. we need like a little bit of, like, a, smooth it over just a little bit. I Not don't know. At the same time. I don't know what we need, but yeah, I just wanted to see how you <laughs> reacted to that. I don't, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> a little bit out of the, I'm a little bit out of the loop on that. Okay. You know what I mean? That's like, um, if you ain't got I, nothing good to say, don't right, say it. <laughs> she, like, she like, how can I? Like, right. She in her lane. Love that for her. Yeah. Well, that's just, I mean, yeah. I have my songs that I write around to that like? I can't say. Rich Baby Daddy? No, huh? that's that's a sexy red song. Nah, he no, was trying to catch you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I need to have, like, I, I, I mean... I don't know. There is there is all types of stuff on my playlist. Okay. Um, Because it's got to be for different moods. You know, right. it's got to right. be for right. different moods. So I would say in that lane, for me, it would be like a whole lot of money. You okay. know that song? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. is, I probably don't go much farther than that, than uh, that right. when it comes to what whatever we're calling that mm-hmm. genre. Mm-hmm. Ratchet. With my girls. Oh, other okay. ratchet stuff. <laughs> Plenty of other ratchet okay. stuff. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. So what's going on with mommyhood? Is it getting easier? Oh, my goodness. You know what? In some ways, I have a teenager now. I know. It's crazy. And but this I'll one over here got she's kids. Really, she's really, like, she's pretty amazing. She's super self-motivated. Dope. Dope. That's um, cool. Does she sing? She sings some, but she's even more into like acting and writing oh. and, and wanting to be an entrepreneur and, you know, having her little businesses, making rings and making really? different stuff. Yeah. That's okay. Dope. So, and she's, I think like just being a young woman and being driven is really good. I mean, absolutely. You know, we, we like, it's. It's strong personalities. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. cancer. Jim and I, we're all headstrong. But um, Leo, gang, gang, gang. All but it's summer. like, <laughs> you know, I, I like that she wants to go get it and yeah. do her thing. And she's like focused and yeah. into school and stuff like that. You're blessed because I know, I know a lot of parents who are challenged with that. And it breaks your heart yeah. when you see them unclear and you know, thinking that they're the problem when it's a lot of it is society and just the support they get and, you know, parental and otherwise. So for sure. And I think that um, just like the most important thing, I think, is staying motivated. And I was just like, okay, whatever school she goes to, I need her to be at a place 
that's inspiring her to want to be involved yeah. and like want to ask questions. They're not going to be like, be quiet. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. teachers that are asking for students to be active. And I wish we could pick them. Challenge. <laughs> and, I got a meeting know. today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How old is your? She's 13. What? Yeah. 13. I She'll be 14 in November. Well, this month, the 22nd. Coming up. Yeah, no. Hell no. Uh-uh. She's older. Uh, I got to go holler at a middle school, possibly racist teacher today. Uh, I don't know. Cause you know, well. sometimes they lie. <laughs> so I'm just like, is she really possibly racist? But I can always mm-hmm. kind of tell the vibe. Like when I walk in, when like what the issues down. are, but it's just certain things. Yeah. And you got to show up for your kids. You do. Period. So and that, I mean, and that's part of the tough thing as a parent, Yeah, you know, like figuring out how to show up, like not overdo it. But how to advocate when you exactly. need to mm-hmm. for like sometimes it would be uncomfortable advocating for myself in certain ways. And I feel like when I became a mom, I was like, oh, I got to find that think, energy. You got to figure do it. out how to have hard conversations <laughs> yeah. and make other people uncomfortable mm-hmm. and be like just straight up. I'm good at that. Right. So it's not a problem. <laughs> you were like, be quiet. What? <laughs> no, I'm good at it now. Yeah. But, you know, with people, I just ask yeah. the right questions, I think, is yeah. and let them answer and then see where their truth lies. And then you move from there. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. But let them say it. It's crazy. So when are you performing these new songs so I can go see you get nervous and then ah! belt them out? <laughs> I'm going to be at the Independent um, November 19th. OK. And it's going to be a full live show, but it's an album release party. OK. And so, you know, I want. All my friends and family and, you know, everybody's open to the public. Yeah. And I haven't performed at the Independent in years. And I've kind of been looking forward to being back in that space. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And I'll get to do some of these songs for the first time. A couple of people have been seeing me over the years trying out new material. Mm -hmm. But there's like a couple songs that. Our brand new. So I'm excited. All right. All right. Yeah. We're going to dip your toe in that water. Yeah. Right. And, Please and, come and out to yeah. it. Yeah. Wash over you. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited for you. Thank you. It's been a minute. We need yeah. your style back Thank in the you. mix of things, period. Right. Right. Because I think it's been missing. Mm. You know, I can put my hands on my knees, but I want to sing <laughs> like and, you know, enjoy myself just yeah. in a positive, vibey space. Yeah. Yeah. Two, like we mm-hmm. need that mix. Right. We need that mix. And that's the thing. Like it can't be all one thing because sometimes you just need to zone out. Exactly. And just have a good right. time. But especially when I'm going through something, I'm like, I can't. There's yeah. certain stuff I just can't hear that I'm like, now that's offending me. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like before I was just right. singing along, but like it's certain zones that you're in that it's like you need something that's going to give you some energy to get. Right. Right. It ain't many, it. it ain't many songs I know that can make the East Bay Dragons ride down the street singing it at the top nah. of the line. <laughs> I'm like, look at that. East Bay Dragons. Yeah. I love it. That's one more visual. <laughs> There's so many. Right. So many memories. Yeah. But congratulations on the project. Thank you so much. Yeah. I have a I have a gift for you that's yeah. connected. You brought me money? No, <laughs> money. Money. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's well, the cool. the outside is oh. um Let's put this in there. is a collaboration that I did with Human. That's dope. Okay. Super dope artist, visual artist from the Bay Area, Filipina is, woman. And QR code down here for him? Yeah. You, okay. Yeah, you'll have to scan it later. And you can hear the the song that goes with it. Okay. Let's see, okay. and it's one candle scent that goes with that. Okay. Is that and the then this candle? is another one. Okay. This is the latest. Um, candle scent because I've been matching scents with the song. Okay, okay. So that people can leave, you know, and, yeah. and go home and still have a vibe. Yeah, it's auditory. Yeah, I'm gonna use yeah. this bag. My daughter. Yeah, you, this oh, you can it's open real. it. She you wants can just to smell it. The top. Is it? Yum. And then if you scan it, it'll go to the song. That's dope. beautiful. That's right. dope. Right. All 2023 now. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I love it. I'm like, I'm home a lot and I want to, you know, catch a vibe. And I want for when people are in their space yeah. to get something that's more than just sound, you know, something right. they could feel. I know that's your hope all the time. 
Yeah. And I hope that people feel that when you do your thing at the independent. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be surrounded by loved ones. So yeah. regardless, the support's going to be there. Right. Thank yeah. you. All right. Well, stream well, that colors. You. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's out there. Yes. Get that. Thank you for having me. Girl, so of course. good to see you. Yeah, I know. It's been too long, like we keep saying. 